Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Thursday, July 13th, 2023. Today I'm talking about RSV vaccine for older adults. Now, one of the viewers that follows me asked me to do a video message on this new vaccine. Again, I'm discussing the RSV vaccine for adults over 60. I'm not talking about RSV vaccine for children. But first, what is RSV? It's a called respiratory syncytial virus, a common contagious virus that usually causes the common cold. Most people recover in a week or two, but RSV can be serious, especially for babies, young children, and older adults. Now for older adults with severe uh, underlying conditions or chronic medical conditions, RSV can cause serious infections and it can even be fatal. Now, adults with the highest risk for severe RSV infection include older adults, 65 and older, adults with chronic heart or chronic lung disease, for example, congestive heart failure or COPD, but those aren't the only ones, and adults with weakened immune systems. So in May of this year, the FDA, the US FDA approved two pharmaceutical companies RSV vaccines. One was GSK Arexi, the first one uh, for older adults, and Pfizer's Abrizvo uh, RSV vaccine. So now looking at their two websites, GSK's website talked about their phase three clinical trial and said their vaccine was generally well tolerated, had an acceptable safety profile. The most frequently observed uh, adverse effects were pain at the injection site, fatigue, muscle aches, headache, and joint pains, which were generally mild to moderate and transient. And Pfizer says on its website uh, in about their phase three clinical trials that in adults 60 years of age and older, the most common side effects were pain at the injection site, fatigue, headache, and muscle pain. So who should get these new RSV vaccines? Again, uh, GSK and Pfizer is targeting them for release this fall. The CDC Advisory Committee met on June 29th of this year, and they did not give a universal recommendation, but their recommendation involves shared decision making. They said that older Americans 60 and up can get the new RSV vaccine this fall, but they must discuss it with their physician. So folks, discuss this with your doctor based upon your medical risk and as to whether or not you should get this vaccine. Now, I do want to say that neither of these vaccines are messenger RNA vaccines. The Abrizvo uses an adenovirus serial type 26 vector encoded RSV F protein stabilized in a prefusion confirmation, according to Pfizer's website. And Arexi, uh, the GSK vaccine, uses a uh, recombinant subunit prefusion RSV F glycoprotein antigen combined with GSK's proprietary adjuvant. Again, I'm not trying to explain that folks, but it's not a messenger RNA vaccine. So lastly, I want to say I don't work for GSK or Pfizer. I have no relationship with pharma. I'm not promoting. I am not recommending these vaccines. I'm just providing information for informational purposes and just basic information. I've said repeatedly that vaccines or medical therapies always consult your doctor to discuss whether or not you should receive one of these vaccines. That's my message today. As always, take care, folks. Be well and be safe.